everyone it's me megs and yes i am back with a personality unit aka protective style because they have been working and i'm here to share a new one with you guys by wiggins hair this curly unit i'm loving so much and it came with this really cute wig sleeve which i do use to store all my wigs and it also came with an hd wig cap and adjustable elastic band to keep that wig laying nice and flat to go glueless and it also came with some 3d lashes which are cute i'm not mad at these you know and also a wig melting band okay and i really love these so much so this is exactly how the unit came straight out of the box and i wanted to show you the knots the knots are really nice and small on this one and it does appear to have a pre-plugged hairline to it as well so so far i'm like yes i cannot wait to put this thing on but first i always wash and condition my units just to really ensure that the quality of hair is actually there so it's a beautiful curly unit at 18 inches and 250 density with a 7x4 lace closure so i'm gonna apply some leave-in conditioner this one is by way and it smells so so good i love this leave-in conditioner on curly wigs and then of course i'm gonna apply some foam this one is by cream of nature i applied that and brushed it on through and boom this is how the hair looks just really juicy the curls are beautifully defined and the shine is just so on point but i did experience some shedding while prepping this unit but that is actually kind of normal for me when it has to do with curly units i've always experienced a little shedding so this is how the hair air dried really nice and defined and the hairline with the closure is absolutely stunning so i'm very pleased with how it air dried it's very very soft and very high shine so this is a 250 density unit and we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy on and play with it a little bit later to really see how the curls look but i'm very satisfied with how the ends feel nothing feels rough nothing feels like it's frayed or any split ends so i did appreciate that so to prep i am gonna apply some foundation to my HD wig um, cap like this and it does have a pre-cut lace and there are a few combs within the construction of this unit which I do appreciate because this is a wear and go wig there are three combs two at the uh, top here like this and one at the nape and there isn't adjustable straps within this wig but there is an elastic band that I'm going to attach and wear so I really like that it is pre-cut lace making it easy to wear and go and it's going to melt pretty well being glueless so I'm really excited about that but I'm also going to apply a little bit of foundation to the closure area and along kind of like near the hairline just to make sure that I can really go completely glueless with this unit so I'm super excited excited about that so I'm just gonna pop this bad boy on and it's very very comfortable and I realized like oh I actually can go glueless but with the lace being so thin I really do believe you would have an effortless melt and I'm gonna try to do it next time as far as melting it down but I feel like as far as my hair journey this time around glueless has been my best friend um, when it comes to protective styling as I grow and get my hair back healthy so as you can see here the knots are really nice and small and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like style and um, press out the edges just a little bit and I think I want kind of like that comb over flip over look I just personally love that look when it comes to my units um, especially when they're curly and it the fact that this unit is so full at 250 density I feel like that would just look really really cute so I'm just making sure that I kind of loosen and separate the hair but also making sure that I don't manipulate it too much to the point where it becomes frizzy which I don't think I really have that issue with this just based off of how I prepped the unit with the mousse and the quality of the hair. The hair feels very soft. There was no smell to the hair um, when I first got it either. So I do appreciate that. And I'm just making sure that this front area is laying nice and flat. So I'm using the edge of my hot comb there just to get it how I wish it to lay like that. So as you can see, we are glueless. And imagine if you actually like glue this down like i think i'm gonna have to do that eventually so it's really nice and thin lace i feel like it looks really natural um i am just really loving how comfortable the unit feels and the more you fluff this the bigger it gets which i do like and i feel like you could do a lot of different kind of like looks with this like i'm interested to see what this unit would look like in a twist out um, but with this 7x4 closure, there is some nice parting space and I feel like 
the lace looks very natural in the party area because the knots are really nice and small which i do appreciate that because i reviewed a lot of wigs and sometimes the closure gives grid and this one is not giving grid like you're not seeing the holes and the lines and things like that so um like i said it's super comfortable to go glueless for me which is my preference when it comes to wigs is to go completely glueless and i always really liked Wiggins um, units. They're very nice, very good quality hair, very lightweight and comfortable to wear, which is my preference. And I really like this 18 inch um, curly unit. Um, I haven't tried too many 18 inches, so I'm really feeling this one. I think this will be really cute for the upcoming spring and summer months. I definitely could see myself taking this unit with me on vacation. And I'm just really kind of like playing with the unit. I like a deep side kind of flip over look. So I just use the hot comb just to kind of like maneuver and manipulate the hair to go in the direction I want it to go in. So with this wig um, lace melting band, I just kind of place this on my head for a few moments just to get that lace to lay even flatter on some of the edges, the edge areas, um, because I don't want to put glue. So just applying this for about 10 minutes seems to work really well with getting things to lay even flatter to my head without the use of glue. So I love this band. It did the trick. It's giving what it's supposed to give and there's no lifting or peeling up of that of the lace because I allowed that to sit on for about 10 minutes. But imagine if I glued this down, it would be even more effortless and flawless. But I really feel like this is great for beginners or people who don't have a lot of time like myself who are busy ripping and running. You just pop this bad boy on and go because it takes minimal effort and prep. That's what I do love about this unit here. So going completely glueless, is for me I love this and it's just you know it's just easy I love a good wear and go unit okay because that's what I need in my life you know that's what I need and we're doing a security check with the elastic band um, within this wig it's not moving it's not going anywhere I don't have to worry about it falling off anywhere so as you can see it's secure. It's not moving. And I love that. And it's very, very natural looking. So I do want to send a huge thank you to Wiggins Hair for collaborating with me on this video. And feel free to stick around my channel to watch more of my protective style units here on my YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.